and you're gonna pull it very gently from root to tip. Hey guys, Karen with Curl House. I am a certified trichologist, meaning I specialize in hair loss and scalp disorders. I'm also a licensed cosmetologist. And I wanna talk about something a little different today. I know we talk a lot on this channel about hairstyle and how to maintain your hair and how to grow healthy hair. We even talk about how often you should get a trim or how often you should deep condition your hair or how often you should moisturize your hair. But how many times do you hear people in talk about how often you should check your scalp to see if you are losing your hair. Now, I know you might be thinking, oh, that doesn't affect me. I'm not dealing with any hair loss. I'm good. Well, guess what? Most people aren't dealing with hair loss until they're dealing with hair loss. And a lot of times with hair loss, you don't even know it. You can lose 20% of your hair before you even realize it. Unless your hair just all falls out in one day, normally the hair loss is gradual. So just as we as women, we go, we, we check our breasts, uh, we do our breast examinations, we go to the dentist to check for cavities, we go to the doctor to have our annual wellness exam, I want us to treat our hair the very same way. I want you to add a hair and scalp examination to your healthy hair routine. And I'm gonna recommend that you do this about four times a year or once a quarter. First thing, I recommend that you examine your scalp on wash day. So let me go and wash my hair so I can show you exactly what you need to do. I'm gonna give you five things that you can do to examine your scalp. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start in the top of your head. If you're dealing with some type of hair disorder, it starts in the top of your head, right in this area. Take your hand and place it right at the top of your head. Now, I want you to take some hair, gather a little bit of hair, and just lift it up. See how it feels. Does it feel normal? Lift it up a little bit, okay? Now, I want you to compare the top of your head to, excuse me, the hair on the top of your head to what's in the back. I want you to feel the hair at the occipital bone, which is this bone that goes ear to ear, right in here. Take your hand and pull the hair in this area. Does it feel similar to the hair that's in the top? If it does, you're okay. Now, if the hair at the top is significantly thinner than the hair at the back, then that might be your first red flag that your hair may be thinning. The next thing you're going to do, we're gonna make a part in the middle of our head. Take a comb, make a part right in the middle. And I want you to examine the width of the part. Now, with some types of hair loss disorders like female pattern hair loss, the telltale sign that your hair is thinning is that your part is getting wider. So make a part and look at your part line. Does it look normal? Does it look sparse? Are you able to see too much scalp? Now also caution for those of you who are gray, a lot of times your part line might look bigger than what it normally is simply because your gray hair, the color of your gray hair may be similar to your scalp. So if you are gray, make sure you look really, really closely at your part line so that you don't make a mistake and think your part line is wider than what it normally is. So this is very, very important. Looking at that part line to see if it is getting wider. If it's not getting wider, you're good to go. If it is getting wider, then that is another red flag that you may be experiencing hair loss. And then number three, I want you to check your temples and your hairline. So the third thing you're gonna do, you're gonna pull your hair back. And you're gonna come in here and you're gonna check this hairline and to see what it looks like. Now, everyone's hairline is different. My hairline in this area, in my temple area, it is a little shorter. For me, I have dealt with hair loss. I have dealt with hormonal hair loss. A lot of times when you deal with hormonal hair, line, hair loss, it shows up right here in the temples. So for me, what looks short to you 
is actually long to me because at some point it had thinned out completely. So what you see is my hairline growing back. So if your hairline is getting shorter, if it looks bald, for example, then that is yet another indication that you may be dealing with some hair loss. So while you're checking the front of your hairline, it's also important that you check your hairline in the back. Take a mirror, look at the back of your head. What does it look like? What does the hairline in the back part of your hair look like? That's going to be important as well because with certain types of hair loss, you may actually have bald patches. But if you don't look at the back of your head, you're going to miss them. So that's step four. Look at the back of your head. If something looks off, if it looks thinner, if you see bald patches, if your hairline is too thin toward the back of your head, then that too may be a red flag and you may be dealing with some type of hair loss. I know I look a little crazy looking like Don King, but we're going to get through the fifth thing that you're going to do to examine your scalp to make sure you're not losing hair. Okay, I'm going to show you all how to do a pull test. This is something clinicians do to see whether or not our clients are experiencing excessive shedding. So in a pull test, I want you to take about 25 hairs. We can say about this much, about 25 hairs. And what you're going to do, you're going to gently pull on your hair from root to the ends gently so we're gonna you're gonna take your hair in a bundle and you're gonna pull it very gently from root to tip all right and after you do that i want you to check to see how many hair strands are in your hand you can't see this but i have one two two hair strands. No more than about 15% of your hair should be in the telogen or shedding phase, which is a, the normal cycle of shedding. If it's more than 15%, that's an indication that you may be actively losing hair. I said maybe because then, again, this is something that clinicians do. I definitely wanted to share it with you so that you could do your own pull test, but I don't want you to use this as the end all be all. So after performing your scalp examination, if you feel like that you may be thinning or you may be losing your hair, then it is important that you figure out the root cause, the why. Trichologists can help you with that. A dermatologist may be able to help you with that. Or you can check out some of my videos, one listed above, that may be able to help you to determine why you're losing your hair and what you can do to restore your hair. I also wrote an ebook. That's all about how you can grow healthy, thick hair. I have several tips in here as well that may help you to restore your hair. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and make sure you just subscribe to my channel so you do not miss a video in the future. And until we talk again, stay fast.